Hello everyone and welcome to this special edition of The Groovy Gold Hunter. Yes, it is going to be a special pay dirt review tonight because I am celebrating my one year anniversary of panning pay dirt. So to commemorate that, we are going to go downstairs in the garage and I am going to show you our new pay dirt review. It's special to me because I've never done one this big and yeah, I can't wait to show you. So come on, let's go down to the garage. Follow me. <clears throat> I'm gonna open this door. You come, come on, here we go. Come on, follow me downstairs. Stay with me. Come on, guys. No, all of y'all can come. No, everybody invited to my house. Let's go into the garage right here. Here we go. You know this spot is the garage. All right, let's close the door. And here we are in the garage. And here it is, the special pay dirt that we're gonna be doing tonight. And it is the giant gold bag. Whoo, oh, 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 what kind is it? We'll tell you in just a second. It's the one year anniversary gold pay dirt review. Let's get it on. Okay, so I know that other pay dirt reviewers have done much bigger, much better pay dirt reviews than this one. I cannot afford an ounce bucket of pay dirt. This is the biggest one I've ever done. So my year anniversary of panning pay dirt, I got this for my birthday from my wife. And this is the Gold Bay pay dirt bag. And it is the five pound, five gram guaranteed pay dirt bag. And I'm so excited to do this because I've done Gold Bay before, but I've never recorded it and I've never done a review. So this is the first time I will do a review on Gold Bay pay dirt. So without further ado, let's flip it over and let's get a good shot of it. See what we got here. Look at all that pay dirt, five pounds. Usually they do it in three pounds, but this is a five pounder. And yeah, let's start classifying it right now. This pay dirt is so special that I literally cleaned my entire area. Look at that. It's never been this clean ever. There's my classifiers. There's my other classifiers, old bows. We're not going to use those old bows. We got brand new bows for this one. We are are going to get down and dirty with this bad boy right here. Gold Bay Pay Dirt. It is guaranteed five grams worth of gold. It even has a little 5G check mark, meaning that I guess they checked to make sure there was five grams in there. So that's a good thing. And like I said earlier, I have done Gold Bay Pay Dirt before and I do love Gold Bay Pay Dirt, but I never recorded it. Yeah, this five gram bag, this is the most, most expensive pay dirt bag I've ever bought. It was my birthday. She asked me what I wanted, I told her what I wanted. She delivered. So thank you, Voyager tea for getting me this bag of pay dirt i am going to enjoy it more than you'll ever know and i hope you guys enjoy it as well so let's get the class by all right so we're going to start by opening this bad boy up and i'm going to do it right here right now yeah normally gold based pay dirt is three pounds they always do three pound bags when it's around what one to five grams and i think when they get into the 10 grams i thought that's when they went into their five pound bags but they kind of changed things up on gold base since i've last got on their website and checked their stuff out. Let's get my classifier. I'm going to use this one first because I've got a quarter inch mesh on this one. This is the biggest mesh that I have. So I'm going to use this first. So here's the first glance at this pay dirt. Looks like it's got some small rocks in there. I'm Usually I see bigger pieces. There could be some bigger pieces in there, but at first glance, I don't see any big rocks. So let's pour it. It's going to get dusty. I already know that. This stuff is very dry. <laughs> look at all that dust. Oh, look at all that smoke. You ever get like something and you can't wait to open it, but at the same time, you know once you do open it, you don't get to open it again and you don't get to do it again. So you don't open it and you just hold on to it forever. I held on to it for a week and that's about as far as I can go. Because I really wanted to do this stuff first. But I wanted to do the other pay dirts first before I got to the best. Good lord. So yeah, this is my quarter inch stuff. Not a whole lot of quarter inch. I know the last time that I did pay dirt with Gold Bay, they had big chunks of rock in their pay dirt. So I don't know if they're changing it up or if this is just from a different area. Not sure. But there's my quarter inch.
<laughs> I don't know how well my camera's getting all of that dirt, but man, it is everywhere. I might need to wear a mask. I don't think it's dangerous. I think it's just literally dirt. So, all right, I'm gonna try to dump some in there in my classifier. Move that to that side so you can see this side. Just doing a little bit at a time. And this will probably be a very long video. Usually when I edit, I cut a lot of this stuff out just because I don't wanna bore you guys with all of the details. But for this pay dirt, yeah, you're getting the full money on this one. So let's dump that. Get all those rocks out of there. But yeah, like I was saying, that's my Tim mesh. <laughs> it's like my pay dirt's on fire. It's smoking. God, I'm gonna have to have a bath out there. I get done with this pay dirt review. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna classify and just keep going down the line until I run out of pay dirt. I don't think that there's going to be a lot of flower goat in here. I doubt that there's any. Uh, normally when they do their pay dirt, the last, I mean, I've done it two times, but usually their, their gold's pretty big. Flakes and small pickers and stuff. When I did the three gram bag, there wasn't a ton of gold, but everything was big. I'm thinking maybe this will be the same, but you just never know. I don't know, there's still a lot in there. Let's do two more. Pour the rest of that in there. Get all of that dirt out of there. So much for the clean panning station. All right, we're done with the tin mesh. I even cleaned all of my classifiers up real good, nice and clean. I marked them because these they got these little stickers, so I marked like this plus 10. I don't even know if you can see it, but all the dust is on there. I marked them all plus 10 so I can see them easier. So there's my 10 mesh stuff right there. And by the way, I got brand new bows. I tried, I got some other bows, but they were really small. If you've seen my other pay dirt reviews where I first got these little small bows right here, I was trying to find bows big enough to where my classifier would fit over the top of this and I could just shake my classifiers into these smaller bows. This is an exact six inch bow. I almost got it because if you look at this, it doesn't fit inside the bow, but it fits perfectly on top of the bow. It's the exact same radius. I came close with these, but they won't fit in there so here's my 20 mesh and i'll just keep doing it the same way over and over again just switch the buckets back and forth and i'll just keep dumping it in the little green classifier and i start out with my scoop first because there's so much dirt in here i don't want it to go over and around the little green classifier well i have to wipe off all of my cameras here in a second because they're all getting dusty too oh, wow there's a lot of 20 mesh in there I'm gonna have to really work on this one. Probably put way too much dirt in this one, but yeah, there's a lot of 20 mesh in this. Trying to get as much out as I can. Yeah, that was just two scoops right there, and look how much is already in that. That was a lot. I've been in search for bows that will fit my green classifier so I don't have to keep doing this. Yeah, they're a lot harder to find than I thought. I went to the Dollar General store and found these those three bows that I just used and then I found my kitchen strainer classifier. Got a big one now so I can stick it in there and shaky shaky when I want to. Dollar. No, that was more than dollar fifty for that classifier or that <laughs> classifier. That kitchen strainer was a dollar fifty at Dollar General. And then those little bows right there, they were $1.50 each. But when I checked out, they knocked off a dollar on each bow. I don't know why, I guess they were on sale, but yeah, they were only 50 cents a piece. So I was like, cool. And I never go out to buy products. I usually just get it on Amazon. I'm not a big shopper as far as going to stores and shopping. I needed to go get some tea bags and that's why I went to Dollar General and they didn't even have tea bags there. I found all that stuff, but not what I actually went there to get. That is not relevant in any way, shape, or form. I just felt that I needed to tell you guys that. All right, <clears throat> I'm getting dirt in my nose. After I do my 20 mesh, I'm gonna take a break and clean everything, my cameras, all of it, because this stuff is getting everywhere. You can already see my table where it's brown. It used to be black. I probably should have took a shower after I did this. 
Yeah, there is a lot of plus 20 in this pay dirt because I'm tapping, 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 trying to get as much as I can out. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't doubt if I filled this bowl up. I probably should have used one of my bigger bowls for that 20 mesh. All right, I think I can start dumping now. When I was trying to figure out what pay dirt I wanted to do for my one year anniversary of panning for gold, the one I probably would have chosen if I could is what I actually have because I've never done a review on this before. And since I've started panning pay dirt, Miner's Depot has stopped doing it. Lynch obviously has stopped doing it. When I was looking for pay dirt to buy for my one year celebration, Vendetta, I've done them a few times, but they were low on pay dirt. I couldn't, they were sold out of a lot of stuff. I'd just done Gold Nugget sales, so I wasn't gonna do them again. Every pay dirt vendor that I was looking at, they didn't have any gold or they had very little gold, very little options. So luckily Gold Bay had some gold and had some pay dirt. And I think at the end of this video, I've been debating if I was gonna do this or not. I was going to show you how much gold I've accumulated since starting pay dirt because i've got every bit of gold that i've ever panned i still have i've never sold a single piece of my gold i've kept every bit of it i don't keep it at the house i actually stick it somewhere safe because i don't want anybody thinking that i have all kinds of gold here it's not that much gold but just to be on the safe side i take it somewhere and a friend of mine's got a big safe and he just keeps it there for me golly Look at this. I'm filling up. I still haven't gotten done with this, and this thing is about completely full. Uh, still got a couple more to go. All right, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to have to stop my GoPro because it's getting so much dirt on it. I don't want it to mess it up. I'm going to finish this, and then we'll get back to the next classification. Okie dokie, moving right along. We're going to move to the 30 mesh. I take a break because all that dust was getting everywhere so i had to clean up my station a little bit just to turn around and get it dirty again but i have to keep remembering i'm using two cameras one of my mics is on the actual camera i've got a uh, shotgun mic i have to remind myself that when i'm talking to you guys i have to point my face towards the mic or you're not going to be able to hear me if i fade in and out i apologize there's a first glance at my plus 30 material right there. I've been so excited to do this pay dirt. It's like a kid at a candy store. Kind of need a fan in here to kind of blow this stuff around because I have no circulation whatsoever in this garage. Yeah, I don't know how much more I'm going to classify this down to. I'm just going to keep going until it looks like that there's not a whole lot left. Cause I'm pretty sure once I get down to the very, very fine stuff, this dust that keeps flying around, once I get it in the water, it's pretty much just gonna turn into mud anyway. After I do this pay dirt, I am going to be giving away to one of my subscribers, the gram of goat. I'm going to give one gram of goat away. I'll show everybody the gram of goat at the end of this video once we weigh this stuff and take a look at it. And yeah, I'll give it to one subscriber. And all they have to do, or all you guys have to do, is if you're subscribed, is just hit the like button on this video. I'd prefer you leaving a comment because that tells me who's pretty much entered. You don't even have to say anything. Thing, just write comment but yeah i'll explain that later on so that was the 30 mesh done with that now i gotta go through this dust bath again and go to the 40 mesh and i probably could have gotten away with just instead of doing 30 40 50 60 mesh i could have just done 20 40 60 skip one so i think i'm gonna do that on the next one i'm not gonna do 50 mesh i'm just gonna go straight to 60 mesh and then i'll probably do 110 because that is my newest classifier. I'm going to shut my camera off because it's already got coating of dust on the lens. And I really don't want to ruin my camera. So I'm just going to finish classifying this. Once I'm done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Move on to the next one. And so on and so forth. So I will be back in this time.
And we're done. That was a lot of classifying. I got it down to nine classifications. So let's go take a look at them. So we have our plus quarter inch, plus eighth inch, plus 10 mesh, plus 20 mesh, plus 30 mesh, plus 40 mesh, plus 60 mesh, plus 110 mesh, minus 110. That's nothing but dust. And that's a lot too. I had to put it in a big bowl because it wouldn't fit in one of these smaller bowls. But yeah, there they all are. All nice and pretty and ready to be panned. Kind of surprising. The last time I did their pay dirt, it wasn't rocks like these. They were more like pebbles and rounded and stuff and bigger material. So this is interesting. Can't wait to see what we've got in all this mess right here so yeah let's get the panning okie dokie so welcome to the overhead shot now i'm going to pan this stuff first because i know that that's going to be muddy water after i get done with this so i'm going to pan this and then i'll probably redo my water i'm not going to probably do it i'm definitely going to redo my water and then i will go to the other stuff because this is just going to this is nothing but mud. There might be some black sands in there. I don't know yet till I get in there and start panning it, but some very fine material. I'm gonna take my spoon. Can you see what I'm doing over here to the side? Yeah, I'm gonna take my spoon. I'm just gonna take one of this first because I wanna see what it does. I mean, I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna turn into mud, but I wanna see. Oh man, it's not even breaking up. Come on now, break up. I think it just pretty much dissolved into nothing. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, I don't even see any material. I'm gonna, yeah, there's a little bit of material in there. Not much material, but there's some material in there. So I'm gonna try to get as much mud out as I can before I start panning it, just so I can try to keep my water as clean as I can. And to be honest with you, I would be shocked if there's any gold in this whatsoever, because I've never seen super flowery gold coming out of Gold Bay. Every time I've done it, it's been pretty chunky gold. So yeah, there's the actual dirt. just gliding off my pan. There is some black sands. I'm starting to see those. Yeah, this stuff's just pouring right off. Not gonna be anything in here. I would be shocked if there was. All right, let's do a little quick tap. Yeah, there's just a couple black sands in there. I guess I could have taken my magnet to it. Let's do that just to get that done. Let me see here. I see some, yeah, it looks like there's some gold right there. That looks like a piece and that looks like a piece right there. It's kind of hard to see, but I think I see two or three little pieces of gold. That ca My camera actually didn't help. Usually it does help, but that didn't help that time because it was just so small, I couldn't get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a lot more than the last one, just so I wanna get rid of this stuff. Hopefully after panning all this stuff out, the dust will go away. And I did put a lot of jet dry in my water. Don't think I have any gold. It looks like it's just hematite. Yeah, no gold. Or mica, whatever it is. Hematite, mica, glitter, whatever. Let me get my uh, magnet. Here's my magnet. See what I can get out of here. There's some magnetic material in there. So I don't know if you can see it, but you see all that black in, the, in there? There's my magnetic material right there. Oh, there you go, look at there. Out of all that dust comes this black magnetic stuff. So cool, comes from beneath the dust bomb. All right, so I'm gonna do half and half this time. I really hope I don't spill this. I wore the wrong shoes for this pay dirt review. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this minus 110 stuff, and then I'm gonna continue this tomorrow because it is like two o'clock in the morning. And I, I've been editing all day. I'm trying to catch up on all my gold panning the videos. I'm like three behind, and I'm trying to catch up for this one. And I'm trying to get those done as soon as I can. So I've been editing all day long. So glad to get rid of all this dusty stuff. We'll be back for me tomorrow for you in one second. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now the next day. I went ahead and stopped last night because it was getting pretty late. So did a little bit of editing today. As a matter of fact, I did a lot of editing today. 
and now I'm ready to pan the rest of this Gold Bay pay dirt. So let's get this camera right here on the overhead shot, getting my Canon camera set up over here. I've even got my phone set up with a new mic so it doesn't sound so crappy when I do close up. So let's get to the overhead shot right now. We're ready to rock and roll. So where we left off was I did the minus 110. Now it's time to do the plus 110. I'm not expecting to find any gold in this, but we're going to see what's in here anyway. So I'm going to do a, about that much. You know what I forgot to do? No, I didn't forget to do it. I did it yesterday. That's why I did it yesterday, because I knew that I would forget to do the magnetic material as soon as I got in. And there's still a little bit of magnetic stuff in there. Just very little. All right. So I didn't put a whole lot of dirt in there. Probably could have put a little bit more, but yeah, this is the plus 110 minus 60. So let's go ahead and pan this stuff. I'm trying to drag this pay dirt out as much as I can because, you know, this is not something that I get very often. Maybe, well, it's the first time I've ever gotten it. Normally, I always buy a gram bag, but being that this is a five gram bag, it's, you want to get your money's worth. You want to get as much out of it as you can. Well, there is some sparkly gold looking stuff in here, but it's not gold. I see it everywhere, but it's not gold. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna stop panning it and just start pulling it back to see what I've got here. There's no gold in there whatsoever. There's your view right there. No gold. Well, let's just dump the whole thing. That's way too much, but really don't think there's any gold in this stuff. So we're just gonna pan it all out. All right, let's go ahead and start panning this. I mean, this stuff is just wanting to get out of the pan. No black sands whatsoever. Very, very little. All right, let's finish it. All right, guys, we're back. I'm hoping that my GoPro will stop doing whatever it was just doing. It started flickering, and that's never done that. And it got hot real fast. I haven't even been in here for maybe, what, five minutes, 10 minutes, and it was already getting overheated. So it's not a good sign. That being said, there was nothing in that plus 110 minus 60. So now we're going to the 60 mesh right here. Let's get on with the 60 mesh. We'll start out with about that much. Strata fry it real good. And then we'll pan it and see what happens. But yeah, you can see my water. It's already getting really murky and I'm dumping most of this stuff out. All of the brown water. Probably gonna have to do a dump and refill up some clean water once I get through this smaller stuff. Let's go ahead and start panning this. You know what I forgot to do? Oh, you all know what I forgot to do. I forgot to pull the magnetic material out. I don't really need to though, because there's just not a whole lot in here. Stuff is super easy to pan off. And I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but see all that glitter? Looks like, looks just like gold not but it looks like it usually it's silver this is gold a gold color let's say gold color it's not technically gold it's just colorful all right let's pan it back i think we got one piece i think we got our first piece of gold yep there it is right there that itty bitty piece were right there all right, we got our first piece of gold. Maybe technically our second, sort of. We did have like a microscopic piece of gold out of that minus 110, but it probably was that mica stuff. All right, so before we go any further, <laughs> and before I forget, run my magnet over this. See how much magnetic material we get out of this. Really don't need to though. Like I said, this stuff's pretty easy to pan off. There's a little bit of stuff, not a whole lot. Okay. Not a ton. This is all the magnetic material I've pulled out of it so far. So really, just not a whole lot whatsoever. So I'm gonna dump a whole lot more in this second one just because it's so easy to pan. We'll do about half and half. I'll put a little bit more in that. Stratify it real good though. Yeah, I'm curious to know where he got this gold out of or... I know he goes to a bunch of different places to get gold. I've seen his videos where he goes out and he does some uh, metal detecting for gold and stuff like that. So 
All right, let's start panning this dirty stuff. And yeah, even when I get done with all this stuff, I'll repan every bit of it just to make sure I'm not missing any gold, no matter what the outcome is. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty far behind on repanning my material. I've done three pay dirts in the past week and a half, and <laughs> I've all, well, I did repan my that one where it came up short, but the other two I still haven't done yet. Do a little tap. Come on. There's a couple pieces right there. One, two, three, four, five. Is that two? Oh, that's one. Oh, there's two. That's two pieces. Six pieces right there, little bitty. Right there. Suck all those little baby boys up. I'm gonna repan this too, just to make sure none went back. Can't tell if that's gold or not. Let me get my, yeah, that is a piece of gold. <laughs> Glad I caught that. Let me suck that little baby boy up too. Let's finish the rest of this and then we'll move on. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it all. I ditched the GoPro for a second, just so I can do some pay dirt. Unfortunately, my GoPro did go out every maybe two or three minutes. It would cut off. It would start glitching out. It was just a mess. All right, let's tap this stuff back. Yeah, there's about three or four little bitty pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Try to get you a closer shot. So now we're done with the 60. So this is the 40. So I'm going to get all the magnetic material out of here. Not much at all. Really not even worth doing. So the bigger the material I'm getting the more I should be getting as far as gold is concerned. And as you can see, when I was doing this video, I had two cameras and the issue that I was having, my audio mic wasn't working on both cameras. So I kept having to switch it back and forth. The problem was it wasn't sounding the same when I switched. Nice little chunks of gold right there. There's about, I don't know, we'll say about 15 pieces all through there. I'll get a shot with my phone. Yep, I bought a new mic for my phone to get better sound quality and it sounded like absolute crap so I had to delete it and fill in with this. Enjoy. I don't like dumping the rest of that in but it's pretty easy to pan out so I'm going to anyway. And probably after I get done with this batch, this plus 40 stuff, I'm probably going to dump this water out and put me some fresh water in just because that stuff's getting murky and I can't see any, I can't even see the bottom of it. All right, so let's pan this stuff. I'm going to be a little more careful just because there's so much pay dirt in there. back oh yeah got all kinds of sweet little flakes in this one that's a nice little chunk of gold right there and here again is the close-up on my phone camera which gives me the best close-ups that i can get on any of my cameras pretty gold and it just keeps getting better and better as i continue to pan this stuff out all right now we are headed towards the midway point this is the last one and we're midway there this is my plus 30 got me some fresh clean water now really going to stratify the crap out of this because i don't want any of that in there I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible dump all that nastiness out all right let's get the panning crystal clear now look how clear that is now we can see everything that's coming off of it see good enough let's do a little tap action pan it back hmm. there we go got five pieces right there and my 30 mesh suck it up and i'll repan all that make sure i'm not missing any gold we'll do batch number two stratify real good this is still my second batch of my 30 mesh stuff all i did was get all the dirty water out but yeah when i get done with this i'm definitely 
going to repan all of this stuff because I'm really surprised about how much little gold is in here as well. And some of it's like, like a little bitty rolled up ball of gold. See, as a matter of fact, I think that looked like a piece of gold right there. See if I can scoop it up because I want to look at it. There's stuff in here that looks like gold and there's stuff in here that's really hard to tell. I don't even know if I got that piece or not, but normally, you know, you pan gold off, it all stays at the bottom and you don't have to worry about it. If it slides off easy, you know it's not gold, but yeah, this stuff is tricky. See, there it goes again. That can't be gold because, I mean, that just flew right out of my pan. All right, let's take it over here to the finishing side so I can watch it real close. Try to get all that gold sunk down to the bottom. Pan this stuff off really gently. All right, let's tap it back. Let's see what we got here. Do you see all that right there? I got to get a look at that because it looks just like gold. It's not gold, but it sure does look like gold. Yeah, I did have a little trouble with that substance in there, the mica or hematite. I always had to get my little eyepiece out to look at it up close to see if it was gold or something else. Okay, so now let's pan this back. See if we even got, doesn't even look like I got anything. <laughs> nope. I'm sitting there looking at all that stuff for nothing. Wait, is that a piece right there? That's, yeah, there's a piece. But see how it came? I panned it back, it took off with it. Now, I know that's a piece of gold, but I guarantee you it's balled up. So I'm going to spray all this stuff off, and then I'm going to take a close-up of that piece of gold. I did get one piece right there where my finger is. Yeah, and as you can see here up close, it was a little ball of gold, and it rolled with the rest of the sand and stuff. So, yeah, it was a little bit tricky on that one, but I got it. I always get my gold. All right, got two more little rounds of this, and then we'll move on. This, this is really going to take me for it. I was trying to do something special because of this dirt. Got three cameras here, three different mics, all this hoopla for nothing. Everything's not working right. I appreciate everybody who has watched this video, and if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button and the share button. Another reason why you need to subscribe and you need to hit the like button and you need to leave a comment is because I am doing my first ever giveaway. And after I do this pay dirt, I am going to be giving one subscriber a gram of gold. No tricks don't have to be on any patreon whatever all i need you to do is subscribe like and make a comment and the comment can just be comment the only reason why you need to comment is so i know who wants that gram of gold if you leave a comment you're subscribed and you like the video that means you're entered but you have to make a comment because i'll take everybody who made a comment and put your names in a drawing and then i'll draw one of your names and whoever gets it i'll send it straight to you i'll send you a notification telling you that you won my gram of gold and all i need from you is an address and i'll mail it to you but i do want you to subscribe i do want you to like and i do want you to comment so if you do all that then you can be entered and you have a good chance of winning that gram of gold i know it's probably not a lot for some people but it's more of a tester giveaway because i want to do more of them i just never done one before so i'm putting that one out there as a tester to see how it works once i figure out how to do all that stuff i can do a lot more giveaways you guys can enter and have a better chance of winning some stuff all right let's pan this back and by the way thank you guys who have subscribed thank you guys who like these videos and watch these videos i really do appreciate it oh a garnet right there there's a little garnet so I got four nice little chunks of gold and a garnet. I'm going to suck that garnet up too, just so I can keep it. It's not a very big one, but I don't know if you could see it in a reflection, but it's nice red shiny garnet. Get a close up. So I think I'm going to do about half of this 20 mesh, and I'm going to call it a night, because I didn't get down here till late, and I'll finish this stuff up tomorrow. Again, I'm trying to drag this out. As much as I can. But, yeah, I've gone through really five different classifications, and I haven't got a whole lot. I don't even think I've gotten a half a gram yet. I should be seeing some big gold here pretty soon. So let's get to panning and find some more gold. Oh yeah, 
I got some gold now. Now we're starting to see some gold. Big chunks of gold right there. Well, we got four, seven, eight, like some wiry gold. But there it is. Look at that, pretty stuff. All right, now let's suck up this gold right here. So three more spoonfuls. I think I'm gonna put my top on here. The way the night's been going, I don't wanna knock that over. Just stratify it real good. Pan it back. I can already see the gold. Big, nice chunks of gold, too. Heck yeah. There they are. One, two, three, four, five. Just gonna go ahead and suck those up. We'll do one more pan tonight, and then we'll continue this first thing tomorrow. stuff back golly boy that's that's a good way to end Look at all that gold chunks of gold that is definitely worthy of a phone shot another thing about this gold when i started looking at it up close was the different shapes little wishbone piece of gold right there and also if you notice the colors are different one's darker one's lighter all kinds of different types of gold in this stuff so really cool stuff all right guys i'm going to stop right there show you what we've got left still rest of this 20 mesh and then we got my 10 mesh my eighth inch and my quarter inch and i will show you what we've gotten out of it so far if i can get a decent shot of it well actually let's just go ahead and throw it in the pan all right guys so that's what we've gotten so far out of everything up to the 20 mesh we're halfway done with the 20 mesh but yeah that's where we're at we still got a ways to go what would y'all think that was i say definitely over a gram i'd say about a gram and a half see y'all first thing tomorrow <laughs> It has been a while. I haven't finished panning this stuff yet. What is today? I think it's the 27th. And I started on it this past weekend, and then I had to work this week. And I didn't want to do it like when I got off work and come back in and do it after work. So without further ado, let's get to panning. And I'm still on my plus 20 stuff for my 20 mesh. Put you on the overhead shot. And we're going to get to panning some more of that 20 mesh. Okay, so here we are. I've been dragging this out as much as I possibly can. Because again, this is a 5 gram bag. And I do not get these very often. Hardly ever get these. Actually, I think this is the first time I ever got one. pieces that time and again this is some 20 mesh stuff so these are nice little flakes almost pickers actually that is a picker suck those up so i was going to dump the rest of this but i think i'm going to scoop it three yeah let's just dump it all in there i thought maybe i'd get more than three it's around four scoops and i still have what my 10 mesh my quarter inch and my eighth inch mesh <laughs> tap oh golly nothing one piece that's kind of surprising i thought i'd get more since that was the bottom of the pile but nope i got one piece not a very big piece either it is now another day because like i told you yesterday i was only going to do a couple of pans and then i was going to finish it off today i'm dragging this out as long as i possibly can so i'm going to go to the overhead camera which is the gopro that will probably overheat and we'll see what we get Welcome to the camera of doom, which will be destined to fail here pretty quick. All right, so I got me some more water. I'm keeping my tailings because I'm going to repan it all, but like there's the more finer material and that's the rougher material. I'm going to pour a little bit out at a time. We'll do maybe thirds of it, but again, this is my 10 mesh stuff. I'm sure we'll find something in this 10 mesh because after looking at my snuffer bottle and 
about how much I've already gotten out. I would say just over two grams. So here we go. I'm gonna start lightly panning this stuff off. And this probably will be a very long video. And I think at the end of the video, after I show you how much gold I got out of this batch, I'm going to show you guys how much gold I have collected in the one year that I've been doing this. Every grain of gold I've ever gotten, I still have. And I will show you that at the end of the video. All right, let's pan this back. Oh yeah, I see a couple. Look at that little fat boy right there. Should have two in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Two pickers, no doubt. I could pick that one up. Oh yeah, picker, picker, right there. Let's do that much more and then we'll finish it off. So we'll have this in, done in three pans. I probably could have done the whole thing or the rest of it, but stretching this out as much as I can. Like, I'm sad that this is almost over. I'm happy that I'm getting the gold, but I'm sad that there's no more to be gotten. All right, let's pan this back. I already see one nug right there. One little nugget, and there it is. Nice little piece. Not this, well, it is a picker. I picked it up. So we got one more. Dump it all in there. Now we're out of my 10 mesh stuff. So we might be shooting a blank here. Yep, not a single piece. Oh God. We're gonna do this stuff right here, which is my eighth inch. I saw a nice piece of gold in there on the very top when I was looking down at it. So I buried that piece of gold because I want it to be a surprise. So there's a, quite a bit of material in this bow. So I'm gonna scoop it out with a spoon. We'll do like I normally do, three at a time. This one's definitely gonna have a piece of gold in it, but since this is the bigger material, I doubt there will be very many pieces of gold in this. And I thought about picking out some of the quartz and crushing it to see if I can get some, but if I do that, I'll do it with the quarter inch stuff. This is the eighth inch stuff, and it just looks a little bit too, just looks too small. I don't know. I'll have to kind of go back over it and look at it, and I'll make a decision if I should crush this stuff down to see if there's a possibility of any gold in this. I'm very interested to know where he got this pay dirt from. I don't know if the gold comes from the same pay dirt, but I'm very interested to know. So we're gonna finish it off a little bit so I can reveal that sweet fat nugget. And there it is. Oh, there's two in there. Oh man, let's pan it back. Look at that. Maybe it was two of them together and it looked like one nugget, but look at that. Definitely a picker. Try to get better light on it. Let me shine this light down on it better so you guys can see it. So yeah, there they are. I'm gonna put them right in the middle of the pan so you can see them. Look at that. All right, I sucked those bad boys up. Greatest part about that was when I tried to suck it up with a snuffer bottle, wouldn't fit. So I had to open my snuffer bottle and drop them in. That's the best kind to get. Let's finish it off. I hear that clinking noise and I know there's a piece of gold in there because it's got such a distinctive, yep. Oh my gosh, holy crap. It's like a snake. It's like a gold snake. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh, snap. Oh, I'm trying not to say explicit language. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, 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 man. Look at the size of that. How did it get through the eighth inch? <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. I can just pick them up. I was definitely not expecting. I cannot believe it was in the eighth inch material. Oh man, I should have done the eighth inch last because I don't think there's anything in that quarter inch that can top that. There's no way. Look at the size of that thing. I know you guys see those two pieces. You can't miss them. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta sit down for a second. Oh, that got me dizzy. That is so exciting. I have to look, snuffer bottle. I have definitely got to open my snuffer bottle to put those two pieces in. Here's one, it still won't fit in the straw. It's just very, very flat. Uh, you won't be able to see that. There you go. That's, that's a better view of it. And then, oh man, this one. Look at that. I mean, come on, that's sweet. Wait, clonk. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. God, that's gotta be like nine ounces now. 
It just seems like it's so much more than it actually is. So here's three more spoonfuls. There's no way there's any more gold in this. I can't imagine there being that much more gold in this. So six spoonfuls, I've gotten four big fat little nuggets. Big fat little nuggets. Freaking awesome, man. So yeah, I don't think there's any in this. I would have seen it by now. So that was a blank. That's all right. And I should have enough for two more pans because there's a lot of material in this. So I'm going to do three spoonfuls. Now there's gold in here. I see it running around. Let's pan it back after I get a little bit more of this material off of it. I see it buried in there. It's not as big as the last one, but who cares, man? Any gold for me is a bonus. All right, that's enough. Look at that. What is that, one piece? Two pieces, again. That's a good size nugget. Look at that. Listen. Well, didn't make a bigger sound than I thought, but it's still a nice piece of gold. They're both pickers. That's two more pieces in this eighth inch stuff. No matter what happens in this pan, I want everybody to just give it a hand. I mean, that was the greatest classification of material I've ever had. Uh, it's a freaking standing ovation of gold. Never have I had that many big pieces in one classification. It just one after them. I know y'all think I'm an idiot, but man, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen doing this stuff. And I think there's another piece in here. I just hear that grinding gold sound at the bottom of my pan. There's no way, this is still, I still gotta go through this. There's not a whole lot of quarter inch. What am I doing? I'm showing it up here and the camera's down here. Alright guys, and this is gonna do it. This is it, right here, the last bow. And I'm so sad. I really don't think I'm gonna get any gold out of this. So I think I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in and do a one-time deal. There's not a whole lot in there. Let's see how much we got. Yeah, we're just gonna dump the whole thing in. So this is it guys, this is the last bit of the pay dirt. Ah, uh, let me tell you, I have dragged this thing out as long as I could possibly drag it out. I should have done this in one day. I started on this last week, and I did it a total of four days. I just didn't want it to end. So yeah, this is all I've got. And like all these little pieces right here, though, I'm going to crush all of this stuff up and pan it, see if I get anything out of it, because there's a lot of quartz in this. I doubt that there's anything in here, but you never know. But right now, we're just going to pan it off. Like, look at that big old piece of quartz. Kind of watching the quartz as I pan it off. Oh. <laughs> I see a shot. Good Lord, man. Look at that. Another freaking nugget. Look at the size. That is a clunker. Wow. What a way to end. I didn't think I was going to get anything, and I did. Let me get all this crap out. Look at that. Big piece of gold right there. That might be the biggest piece of gold I've ever gotten out of any pay dirt. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Let me give you a size comparison. I've been meaning to do this, and I keep forgetting, but put it back in the pan. There's my dime, and there's that nugget. Sweet. Definitely a nugget. Ugh. It's over. It's so sad that it's over, but it's over. What a fantastic bag of pay dirt. All of my goat is right here. We're going to pour it out, and we're going to see what we got. I'm so sad it's over, but yeah, I'm going to pour it out into a boat, and then we're going to take a look at it. Normally, I just go ahead and dump it and then show you after it dries, but let's do it together. This was a special bag of pay dirt. Shake it up. Man, look at all that gold. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in. Look at that right there, guys. That's a lot of gold. I'm going to take that upstairs. You know the drill. We're going to weigh it. We're going to study it. We're just going to look at it over and over and over again. We're going to admire it. 
then we'll weigh it and we'll see what kind of value we got out of it. I want another bag right now. Okie dokie, so we're back in the room. Wow, did I need to be that close? Sorry. Man, that was such a fun pay dirt to do. Really did, that was by far my favorite pay dirt. Not just because, well yeah, I guess it is because it was five grams of pay. It's five grams of gold and five pounds of pay dirt, so you just can't beat that. That was awesome. I really did like that. I can't wait to do another one. But all good things must come to an end, and unfortunately this did. Isn't that sweet? Look at those two fat nuggets right there. This long one, and then that one. Okay, so you know what's next. We are going to weigh it. So I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to weigh these two big ones first. And then we'll add the rest in there and we'll see what the total weight is. Okay, so here's my handy dandy scale. Let's put the boat on there. Now let's zero it out. We are now at zero. So I'm going to do one nugget at a time. So that one, wow, 1 1.65 grams. Now let's weigh this one. I bet that this one's going to weigh less. Oh yeah, significantly less. Man, that was only eight tenths. I thought it would be over a gram, but no, that's only eight tenths of a gram. And then here's the rest in my little boat. So we're going to go ahead and dump the rest in. There we go. And our grand total, oh man, 5.148 grams of gold. That is so awesome. Fantastic, just fantastic. I don't know what else to say, but let's get on the go calculator and see what the value is. Okay guys, so before we do this, I wanted to, I was pulling up Gold Bay because I couldn't remember exactly how much I paid for it. Or let's say this, my wife paid for it for my birthday. And when I pulled up their website, it doesn't even show a five pound, five gram bag anymore. Now I know it did because I have the receipt right here. Yeah, it, it was a five pound, I don't know if you could see this, but five pound chunky gold, five grams of gold. Right there, $339.95. Zero cost for shipping. They were transitioning into their new website, I think, and so shipping was free as long as you ordered it by a certain date. So I couldn't remember. I couldn't find the receipt at the time. Now I found it, but yeah, we paid $339.95 for it. July 7th and it is at $413 now and you only get three pounds of pay dirt you still get five grams of gold but it's what 80 bucks 70 bucks 74 75 dollars more talk about your dumb luck we got a great deal on this pay dirt in comparison to what it is now so I don't know how that happened but I do know when I was looking at the website a couple weeks ago it said $339.95 for five grams of gold five pound bag of pay dirt anyway let's go to the gold calculator we got 5.147 grams of gold calling it 24 karat natural plaster gold even got two nice nuggets in there gold prices right now are at $19.59.33 Today is July 28th, that's how long it is taking me to completely do this pay dirt. I got it on July 13th, my birthday. Calculate, look at that, $324.23. That's so sweet. Oh man. Alright, so we got $324.23. And I paid, well, my wife paid $339.95. That was with taxes, with shipping, everything out the door. Calculate. 95% return insane that's that's so great so if I would have bought this two weeks later and that's not even with shipping so let's just see what the value would have been then 78% that's almost what 18% difference that does it for this pay dirt probably my all-time favorite bag of pay dirt that I've ever done that was just five gram bag of gold it's just fun but yeah she got it at a right before my birthday it was every it was just perfect everything worked out perfectly i'm not bragging by any means i, I was just 
I'm so excited to have gotten that dirt and gotten the gold out of that. It was, like I said, the coolest bag of pay dirt I've ever done. And I cannot wait to do something like that again. But enough of that, let's go back to, let me go get my other gold. And I wanted to show you guys, I wanna show you guys the gold that I've accumulated since I started gold panning. Since I've started doing this, which was last year at this time, give or take a couple weeks, every bit of gold that I have collected from every pay dirt vendor, every pay dirt bag that I've gotten, I have kept. I have sold none of it. I have given none of it away until now. I'm going to give a gram away out to you guys. All you got to do is hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, obviously, and then leave a comment. But yeah, this is the gold that I've accumulated. And I'll put my little five gram, because I haven't even put that in any of my vials yet. But there's one vial right there, bottle, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says 46.5 grams. But I did buy a lot of chrism gold, and they have really shiny gold. And that's pretty much most of that. Not all of it, but a, most of it. But that's what, 28.6 grams right there. And then this is all of the nuggets that I have collected over the time, which isn't a lot and they're not that big, but there's that one. And that's about 11.343. I don't know why I went that detailed, but yeah. So yeah, in a year's time, I've gotten around about 85 grams. So almost three ounces of gold that I've collected since I've started doing this. And that's how much I've accumulated in this one year span of me doing pay dirt. So yeah, guys, that's it right there. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you have not subscribed, please do, because once you do, you will be entered to win the one gram of gold. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and just leave a small comment. Don't have to be any kind of comment, just write something. If you do that, you will be entered. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have no idea how long it's gonna be, but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty long. But hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate everybody who has subscribed. And if you have not, do so. It costs you nothing. Just like that free gold will cost somebody. It won't cost them anything. All they got to do is leave a comment and subscribe. So until next time, peace and love. And I will see you on my next review or whatever I do. Hopefully I'll be out in the field soon and digging for gold instead of hand for gold. But until then, I'll probably just buy some more paper. Bye.